Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X. Welcome back to the final episode of New Super Mario Bros. DS. We are here in the final castle. Oh my goodness. LP is going to be over with this episode. However, of course, there will be a couple extra videos that I will show off. I'll explain that during the credits and whatever after the game. But first, we have to die because that is the best way to start the final level of the game by dying. God damn it. That was really, really dumb. Oh well, we're gonna try this one more time. Um, hopefully, get past the first room a little bit better. It was pretty early, so I was like, you know, I'm not even gonna bother cutting that. It's a pretty short episode, as is being the final episode. Um, and having the only one level off, but you know, it's always fitting to put the final level as the, you know, sort of, you know, the, the, the whole suspense of, oh my goodness, final giant castle, got to watch the next episode. Yeah, I'm kind of a dick like that where I put suspense like that. Whatever. Um, as you can see, the main mechanic of this final level is um, rooms that will turn upside down, and then there's lots of torches and crazy shit. Um, there's not really many enemies in this level, actually. Well, there's some dry bones and some wasps and some dry bones right there, actually. Um, and those won't be those will be like Mario where they won't be affected by the flipping around. But otherwise, the whole structure level will flip upside down every time you hit one of those switches. And that's the that's the basic gist of this level is um, we're going to be going through a few sections. Um, you actually can't even tell the bottom screw uh, how far you went to the level until you reach the halfway point. Then it'll actually let you know. But um, this whole first section is all about you know just this whole sort of turning around. It's not really a puzzle because there's really only one one direction to go into. But it's sort of a mechanic of sorts, I suppose. Um, speaking of which, we're going to flip things upside down once more in here, but it's a giant ass the bomb. Get out of here. How rude. But yeah, there's a little flippy switch, so we're going to head and flippy switch this flippy, flippy B word, because I was going to swear, but then I realized that I that, that that's just kind of silly. So, um, we're just going to head over here. The, the actual real path is over here. Upside down doors. How do they work? It's like the freaking, it's like the freaking stone temple from Majora's Mask all over again. <laughs> all these upside down Bowser faces are pretty funny, though, I have to admit. Um, wait, aren't they, how are they upside down? Wasn't the, technically the castle upside down before because we entered, then turned it upside down, and then went to this room, so... Which way is up now? I'm confused. And the torches are the right way up. The background's not really flipped, so it, it's just crazy shenanigans. How does this work? I don't know. But make sure you head over here. The door is at, the actual door you have to go to is over up, up here. But um, make sure you head all the way to the left over there and do that section because uh, you have to hit that switch. That will lead us to um, one of the star coins um, that plop in that spawn. So make sure you hit that or you won't be able to get the star coin. And that it would be bad because you're in the last level. The last thing we want to do now is not get all the star coins because that would be kind of silly. The last three star coins of the game actually right here. And then I just pulled a stupid right there. But first, the three star coins are right here, so uh, that's not really that hard to get. I'm not sure if the star coins actually flip around or not, um, so... Because we're, we're about to flip up the stage again one more time. Uh, back to the purple on the ceiling, I guess, because there's a purple and there's a blue. It's like that, well, it's more like a turquoise, I guess. I don't know, why are we arguing colors right now? It's the final level. Who gives a shit about what the colors are? But um, I'm not sure if the star coins will flip around. Um, if it does, that means, I guess, technically you could get it now as well as we're heading back up, because it would flip around, but don't quote me on that. I'm really not sure how it works. Because I guess it would be over here then, or it would probably be down there, so you have to do it the hard way. Really do it the way before, because that would be easier, I suppose. So, just do it like that, I guess. I don't know why you do it the hard way. Um, what they should have done is they should have um, made it so you had to flip it, like they could have put it in like, some location out of reach, then you flip it around, and then you can get it. That would be kind of interesting, actually. Um, but alas, they didn't do it like that, so... Oh well. Uh, second star coin is... Right here, kind of a bit of an odd location, it's just like near a pit. You know, in case you want to kill yourself after you get the star coin, it's just right there. It's your death right there if you want it. But we're actually at the halfway point, um, as you can see on the bottom screen, uh, we have now reached this little middle section. Unfortunately, I don't think it works any farther than that. I guess it makes sense why they couldn't um, have Mario advancing through this section, because um, this happens to be a throwback to old games where you actually have to take the right path or you get sent back into an infinite loop. So, um, rather interesting to go to the bottom first. Um, so it makes sense with the whole upside down thing, and then this section, um, why they couldn't, you know, have an indicator of how far you're on the level. Which sort of makes sense. Uh, but this one, go top first, and then you go middle for the next one. Um, don't worry about uh, missing anything by getting it right, because the third section is just right here instead at the end. Um, really short section, really kind of almost unnecessary section, because they only do it twice, and that's it. Well, three times technically. And then you're at the end of the level. That's it for the level, actually. Um, not that long of a level, really, for a final level. Um, in all honesty, the final level for New Super Mario Bros. Wii was much more chaotic and intense, I guess, but... And this was almost more of a puzzle level of sorts, but, you know, whatever. It's still not a horrible final level to begin with, anyway. So, Bowser's dead body's here, he throws him into a pot, which is just kind of weird. And out of the pot becomes, comes, 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 well, obviously it's gonna be a newly revived Bowser! Oh my goodness, final boss of this game is Bowser and Bowser Jr. combining forces to fight you. 
Um, really interesting one. Bowser Jr. is our first target, uh, much like the uh, Powders in Time Bowser versus and Baby Bowser combining, which isn't the same as Bowser and Bowser Jr., but it's close enough. Uh, we're gonna take out Baby Bowser first, but um, you can fight him the normal way while um, fight while the, the normal shell way. I mean to say, while having to dodge all of Bowser's homing fireballs, these are like homing fireballs. How do you make fireballs that are homing? I don't know. Heat seeking heat, kind of a bit weird. Also, they're blue. What kind of chemicals have you been ingesting, Bowser? If your fire up is blue, that's a bit disturbing. Anyway, I take a hit there, which is kind of unfortunate. I didn't want to take a hit on the Bowser Jr. phase because the Bowser phase is, if in case you haven't seen, he's actually a bit bigger than he was before, so we can't actually jump over him uh, very successfully. I don't, think, I don't even think you can. He's a bit big. He's a bit too big now. But um, what we are going to do is we're going to finish off Bowser Jr. right here. Goodbye and good riddance. And holy shit, that's a lot of flare. I don't know why you shoot them upwards, though. There's no way in hell I'm ever going to be up there. What you need to do is find a good opportunity now to get over there, but you know, I'm kind of a little worried about this, so we're going to use the shell. Shell Mario to the victory. I'm going to charge him. I'm going to charge him. Oh, he just jumped over me. He jumped over my shell. Bowser, you have failed to be Mario. You did not stomp on my Koopa shell. You are not a good Koopa stomper like me. And now a Koopa has saved the day. I don't think I've ever beaten the game as Shell Mario before. This is, this is a first, I think. Um... Rather interesting. Hello, Peach. I'm a Koopa. What's up? This is a bit awkward. I'm only disguised as your enemy. That's okay. He still gets a kiss. And all was well. And that's the end of the game. No kind of crazy cuts at the end. Just Peach giving him a kiss. Very classic, just like this very, very classic game. Also, the credits music for this game are just awesome. And during the credits, you actually get to see a, a screenshot of all the levels again, which is uh, pretty cool, actually. So... Um, if you want to blah 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 and not hear my talking, um, just w watch the pretty pictures, they're pretty cool. Or you can see the pretty names below, which really aren't that pretty, I suppose. The font's actually a little weird. It's kind of hard to read. I don't know. But anyway, guys, um, that was a really fun LP. Um, surprisingly well. Um, like, I was like, yeah, this is Mario Bros. It's not like, it's just, you know, a Mario game. But, you know, I had a lot of fun with it. I mean, well, I knew it was going to have fun with it because it's a fun game, but it seemed like you guys were having a lot of fun with it, too. And that's what's important, I guess. Well, it, that's like half the importance. It's important that it's fun for me, too. But it's also important that it's fun for you guys. So, really glad, glad you guys enjoyed it. Um, I had to have a lot of fun with it. Um, it's nice to just, you know, sit back, do a nice, fun platformer after all the RPGs and Zelda and all that stuff we've done. We have no well, we did a platform of Kirby Squeak Squad not too long ago, I suppose, but um, no, that was decently long ago. It's nice to do a platformer, though. Just a fun game to LP. Um, really glad I did it. Uh, and, well, like, there's not really much else to talk about. I mean, it was just, it, it's just, you know, a platformer. Just really simple, fun, easy LP. A nice little uh, nice thing to just do, take care of before I go into Bowser's Inside Story, which will be the next LP I'm going to be doing. I already announced that a while ago. Um, and, yeah, maybe I'll do um, other Mario games like this for the DS. Um, uh, later in the future. I know uh, I've mentioned in episode Super Mario 64 DS as a possibility. Uh, that's not going to have any time soon, though, because I don't really have any plans for that yet. Um, but, you know, it, it's just really how things go. I love the music. I just love the credits music. It's like such a nice remix of both the Mario theme, and later it's going to be the uh, new Super Mario Bros. theme gets added in here as well. And it's just it's just a very relaxing, chilling, happy music. You know, credits are happy music. You beat the game. It's time for a cause of celebration. It's like, hey, let's celebrate all our achievements with some pictures and some happy music, and we're going to just keep going. We're going to be really excited, really excited, really excited. Okay, really. I'm, why am I being so excited? Um, but I think it's the new Super Mario Bros. part. Hey, I just want, I just want, um, it's really cool to say, like, it's like a whistling section. It's like, um, oh, no, don't do a second intro to it. I want to hear the whistling section, darn it. A freaking, um, yo, Yashinori Sojima. Let me hear the music. I don't know. Can you hear it? Uh, no, the whistling section's later. That's right. Okay, whatever. No. Yeah, there's a little bit of whistling there. It's it's, it's, re it's really cool how they just do it. Um, I guess you, uh, you guys can always find the credits theme if you want to hear it a little bit better, because I know I'm kind of talking. I know I kind of have to talk. It's kind of an LP. I kind of need to talk. That's kind of how it works. But um, the, what's going to happen with the rest of this LP, though, Um, there are going to be a couple extra videos. Um. And by a couple, I mean one extra video and the usual closing fail montage video. Uh, extra video, um, if you guys noticed at the beginning of the game, there's actually mini games in this game. They're taken from um, Super Mario 64 DS. Might as well make a reference back to that. They didn't put all of them in there from Super Mario 64 DS, unfortunately, but they did put a lot of them, and I'm going to go through all of them. It should take, oh, actually, it's probably going to be two extra videos, because I don't think I could do that in one extra video. I don't think I, yeah, I don't think I could do it in one. So it's probably going to be two extra videos. Um, we'll see how long they take me to shuffle all the mini games. Um, other stuff that I really can't show off, unfortunately, that I would love to. Um, they have a multiplayer mode for the extra for the mini games, which is actually really fun. I've done that before a few times. Um, and I can't show that off, unfortunately. And there's also a multiplayer um, Mario, like a, a 
just a multiplayer section for the main game, where it's not like I, you don't play the main game, but what you do is you, uh, it's basically like a battle to get star coins. It's, it's a very, it's almost kind of like the, uh, battle mode of Super Mario Bros. 3, except you, your goal isn't to kill each other, it's to get star coins, really. Uh, so you're getting star coins, um, the first, I think it's like the first of five or something wins, and there's a bunch of power-ups, and there's a few different courses you can go on, and I would love to show that off, but it's multiplayer only, so unfortunately there's no, like, computer AI Luigi's, um, it's always, it's Mario vs. Luigi, pretty much. Um, so I can't show that off, unfortunately. It's a really cool mode, though, so if you have, if you have New Super Mario Bros. DS, and someone else has New Super Mario Bros. DS, I really recommend you check it out. I've done it a few times before in the past, and it was a lot of fun, so... I think it might actually be possible to do if only one copy of Super Mario Bros. as long as you have two DS's. I think it's one of those games where it's single cart only. Or, well, you can, where, where you can do the full thing with just a single cart. Which is nice that they have that, that the whole single, the whole, I mean, who is really going to have, like, you know, unless they have, like, a lot of video gaming friends, it's, it's really hard to pull it off. So, I mean, two DS's maybe, but having the same game, eh, I don't know. Um, but that's basically how it works. Um, so this is, that's the end of the LP, guys, pretty much. Uh, stay tuned for a couple of videos for mini games, which would be cool. And then this is going to be a closing video. Before that, um, that ends, in case you didn't know, this is 80, st I have still have 80 star coins left. Those are going to be spent on something. Uh, but I'm going to save that for the closing video, um, getting the full 100%, because we're technically at full 100% for the game. But, um, for the file, we have, we, I haven't, I'm not going to show this now, but we have two stars, and, um... To get a three-star file, you need to spend all the star coins. That'll happen in the closing video, as well as look at the background there behind the end. Hmm, L plus R plus A equals... Hmm, what's that shape? Hmm, that is something we're going to be finding out during the closing video. But first, a couple of videos of the minigame section. We'll be doing that quite soon, and that'll be the wrap-up of the LP. So this is lucky 78 guys. Thanks for watching, as always. Really appreciate all the support for this LP. Um, it's been a lot of fun so far, so hopefully you'll stay tuned for the extra videos and for some new LPs in the future. And I will see you guys for some minigames really soon. Bye-bye, guys.